Dinosaur Adventureland in our Genesis Baptist Church. We've been helping Matt pack. He's going to move back to Michigan. And you moved up here a year and a half ago. Yes, sir. And your family's all up in Michigan. Right. And you're getting calls to go back on the road preaching. So atheists are going to take this and run with it. But you're moving to Michigan and they're going to say, oh, there's a fight. Is there any kind of fight? No, not at all. It's been a great time being okay. here and no conflict whatsoever. Uh, Dr. Hoven has been an amazing inspiration to me and to my family. And we've just had a great time uh, being here. We've shed some tears, uh, you know, knowing that we're going to leave uh, this place because it's been a wonderful experience here. This is not a cult compound. Uh, this is in indeed a wonderful place. And if you haven't been here, you need to come because the tours are amazing. The food's amazing. And uh, God's work out here is going well. Amen. What are you going to say to the critic? You're going to travel to churches, give your contact info. If people want to get a hold of you. And in sure. about five years, you're going to come back here and work again and take over when I die. I don't yeah. know about that, brother. I don't yeah. know about that, brother. Okay. I'm just here to help. Uh, you well, know. and you got grandkids with the grandparents live up there and everything. It's not natural to, if you're going on the road, your my wife should be close to right. mom and dad with the kids. I did this for 20 some years, traveled all over the world preaching and it, it's exciting. And after a while you say, okay, that's enough. I'm ready to stay home. And so I can reach more people sitting here in front of this camera than I can by traveling, you know. So right. you get it out of your system, travel around. That's like the Quaker said, sir, I would not harm thee for the world, but thou art standing where I'm about to shoot. <laughs> <laughs> That's my attitude. Keep, keep calm and uh, go where you're going to go. Okay. In the winter up there in Michigan, a good time to come down here for a couple of weeks and visit, right? Yes, sir. When yes, it gets sir. 40 below up there. We'll, we'll be here. We'll okay. Come. Sounds great. Thank you. Any questions, Randall, coming in? Uh, Y'all are dressed for a team day. I, I can, yeah, well, quickly, I do not understand what happened with Brett Keene. Uh, he scheduled a program for me. I thought everything was fine. I do a lot of programs, okay? But he scheduled a program for me to be on, and we had technical problems and internet problems, and we couldn't make the show. Well, we made the show, but it was like five minutes still, and he canceled. Oh, he, we, we would have made, yeah. He was upset because we didn't advertise for him before the show. I don't advertise for everybody's show I'm going to be on. I, uh, I don't understand that. I mean, what did I do wrong? He's, well, he's he's all about views. You didn't do anything wrong. I mean, he was standing with us on all sorts of stuff. He even stood with me on the very issue that he's taking issue with me on, the LGBTQ. You know, he was standing with me. He was agreeing with me. He was sharing my sermon. My, I did a seminar with all of the statistics and the figures and laid everything out very clearly. And But the truth is hate to those who hate the truth, right? Yeah. You know, the, he was peer pressured, I think, into some people uh, getting him to turn on you and I, oh. and of course, like if you put out a, a video called Kent Hoven exposed or Matt Powell exposed or Matt Powell and Kent Hoven exposed, you're going to get some views. Just the so, name going to draw attention. It's yeah. going to draw attention because it's considered the, controversial. Writing on the coattails. Yeah. Anyway, I would be glad to be on this program again, uh, anytime. Uh, I, I don't like the cursing and swearing, so I'm not going to promote it. I'm certainly not right. going to partner with him, but uh, I'll be on his program anytime. So I'll be on the atheist program. Yeah, let me go on record. You you never did anything to Brett Keane. You were only kind to him. Uh, you were very, very gentle towards him. And for whatever reason, and I've been friends with Brett for, what, five years now, four years? And, you know, this is kind of the last straw with Brett. I mean, if, if he asks for forgiveness, I'll forgive him because we're always supposed to forgive people. But, you know, after what he pulled, it's it's, man, it's just not good. And we yeah. probably shouldn't even talk about it anymore. No, that's okay. Well, if, if people have questions, let me know. Somebody asked, what happened with Brett? Okay. I honestly don't know. He flipped a switch, and for no reason, good reason that I could see. Your dad drove all night to get here with the truck and the trailer, and we, packed, we had the whole crew up there packing you to move down. And so uh, the girls were up there deciding, which, should we wrap this plate up or not? You know, Taking forever. <laughs> throw it in the truck and sort it out when you get up there. That's my philosophy. I've moved a bunch of times. More people love you than hit you. Well, that... That's good news. <laughs> well, amen. I, I hope so. <laughs> my first wife divorced me in Florida. You can't stop a divorce. And uh, Mary left. And the board elder said, what do I do? We tried everything to get her back. They said, well, file an annulment. There wasn't a state wedding, so there doesn't need to be a state divorce. It's a simply annulment. Look up annulment. Same thing when Cindy left. All we did was just, we tried everything to get her back. Didn't want to come. Okay, so we filed an annulment because it wasn't a state wedding. There's nothing illegal about that. It's perfectly fine. The church can authorize an annulment. And then I believe, I'm going to do some checking on that, the annulment is, is as if it never happened. So anyway, we'll get into more of that later, but I'm very happily married now. Who we, Sandra, way more than I can handle. Uh, <laughs> we come visit Dinosaur Adventureland. It's free. What else do you want, okay? 
it's a great place to come. And we're, we love the Lord. We just want to serve him. Matt, you've been a great blessing. No hard feelings. You just decided, hey, go back on the road. Get the grandkids closer to the grandparents. Common sense. Love it, right on. And when you're done, too, come back. Okay.